Okay, so let's talk about let's see binary to decimal. We're also going to talk today about binary and hexadecimal and binary to octal. But let's just start out with binary to decimal and back. Okay. So really quick, um, let's just review. Um, we have our power to two, so let's just re remember what those are. We have um, we have one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, uh, two fifty-six, five twelve, and one thousand twenty-four. Okay, there's obviously more powers of two than that, but uh, that'll get us started. Okay, um, so when we think about um, converting between binary, so let's first think about binary to decimal. So suppose I have a number. I'll just write this out. I'll write the place, places out here. So suppose we have these um, places here. Uh, by the way, um, let me just name these things over here. So this is our ones place, our twos place, our fours, our eights, our sixteens, and our thirty twos. Okay, and well, what the heck, I'll put in 64s as well. So 64s. Okay, <clears throat> so there you have it. So each of these, um, by the way, each of these is what's known as a place. And over here we'll have our values, um, which correspond to our digits. Or, as I've mentioned before, uh, our, since these are binary digits, Binary digits, that's just shorthand, or that's just longhand for bit. So we have our bits over here. Okay. So let's say I have a, a, just a random number. I'm just going to draw some random number here. So say 1010110, say. Okay. So here's a random number. Uh, now, if I want to uh, convert this number to decimal, uh, effectively what I'm doing is this um, <clears throat> I am taking uh, each of these places values, so we have our place values over here, and I'm going to multiply that by what's over here. So we have, I'm just going to say, uh, we're going to sum up, so our, basically our values, oopsie, Oop. fix that really quick, take each value and multiply it by the respective place. Okay, so we have, say, value, Say value. Let's suppose we have just just for precision here. Let's, right, let's say our value i and our place i. Right. So if i is equal to zero all the way to say n, whatever that happens to be. Okay. So that's the mathy way of saying this is very mathematical. Okay. Let's just think about what that really is. So what this is, um, I would just say if I were to convert this to decimal, I'll say okay, well. 0 times 1, well that's just 0, okay, um, where, so I can, basically I can ignore any 0 place, I can just forget about the 0 places, because as we know from uh, math, right, 0 times anything is just nothing, so I can ignore uh, this spot, I can ignore this one, and I can ignore that one, because I really don't need to worry about those, because it's just zeros. Okay, so let's worry about the rest of them, so we have 2 plus 4, so that's this is our two's place and our four's place. So two plus four is um, that's just six. So I want to say six, okay. And now let's see. So this is our one. Let me just rewrite this. So we have our uh, our ones, our twos, our fours, our eights, our sixteens, our thirty twos, and our sixty fours. Okay, make sure it's right. Okay. So we have two plus uh, four plus sixteen. So sixteen plus six over here. Um, so that's going to just be uh, 22, I believe, yep. And then, let's see what else we have, 64. So this is 64, and this is 22, so we'll just write that out over here, so I have 22. So that's, just do the math, 64 plus 22, okay. Um, let's write that out, um, that's uh, 86, okay, 86, okay, great. <coughs> so that, by the way, was the... Um, just review really quick. That was our, you know, binary. To
to uh, decimal conversion. Right? All we did was just um, for each place value, uh, we multiplied it by the corresponding value. That's what we did. Okay. Um, now we want to be able to go back, by the way, as well. So suppose I have. Um, oops. So suppose what I have is. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, I have this number. Let's say I start with this number over here, so 86. Let's just verify that this works. So um, if I want to convert between, uh, excuse me, if I want to go back to, if I want to go from decimal back to binary, okay, what I would need to do is uh, I need to ask myself this question. What is the highest power of 2 Uh, that can go inside my number. That's what we ask ourselves repeatedly. Okay, so uh, in this case, I'll start with 86. So we have 86. Um, let's scroll down a bit. 86, the highest power of two. Well. 128 is larger than 86, but 64 is the highest power of 2 that's still less than 86. So I would say, okay, well, I have 86, I'll subtract, subtract away 64. What I have left is going to just be uh, 22. Okay. Um, and so if I were to write this out, I'd say, well, I have my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, well, let's see, actually, was that right? Let's see. We have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven spots. So, um, <clears throat> right. So this is our sixty-four spot. And actually, we, we usually want to write it from from our least significant bit. I should mention this. This is some terminology. This is our uh, our least significant bit. So least sig bit over here, significant bit. Whereas our most significant bit goes over here. Our most significant is that this one over here. Okay, so we usually want to write from our least significant bit all the way up to our most significant bit. That way, we make sure we got every bit. So um, 16 and then 32. Yep. Okay, we got every bit over here. So I'll break down a one over here. So we're saying, okay, what is the highest power of two that can go into this number? So 86. The highest power of two was 64. So we write a one out there. Okay, so now our number now is 22. So what's the highest power of 2 over here that can go to 22? Well, 32 is too big, but 16 is just large enough. So I can write a 0 over here, and over here I'll write a 1, because 16 goes into 22. So I'll say 22 minus 16. So now what I have left is, let's see, what is that? Um, <coughs> that's just 6, right? Yeah, there we go. So, okay, so well, 8 doesn't go into 6, but 4 does. So I'll write that down. And 6 minus 4, well, that's just 2. So there we go. And you notice that these numbers are the same. So I have this number over here and that number over there. Going between binary to decimal and decimal to binary is pretty straightforward. There's not much to it. And it might seem like, oh, it's tricky. But if you practice with this, it should be, it should be no difficulty um, doing that. As long as you know these powers of 2. That's why these are very important to know. So I know these powers of 2. Because um, if you don't know those powers of 2, um, then you don't know what to write for your places. And then that's a problem. So, okie doke. Um, right, let's look at some more uh, conversions now. So that was just binary to decimal. There's also some other ones as well. So let's scroll down a bit. Oops. Um, darn. Okay, well, um, I started out in the center, didn't I? Um, let's let's move over here. Oh, nope, I'm running out of room. Okay, well, I'll just stop for now. And that's our binary to decimal de uh, and decimal to binary conversion. Um, uh, in the next video, we'll talk about binary to hexadecimal and octal and back.